Howdy everyone, Mr. Kazi here with a problem of the week. And this week our problem comes from Shannon. And Shannon uh, writes this. Describe the reaction as a balanced chemical equation that occurs when methane, which is natural gas, CH4, is burned in the presence of excess oxygen or O2. And what we want to first realize is that this is a combustion reaction. And in a combustion reaction, we always have two products, and that is carbon dioxide and water. And these are our products in a combustion reaction. So then we can go to the magic blackboard and we can write out the reaction. Here's the reactants, CH4 plus O2, yields carbon dioxide. And since we realize that it's going to be an excess oxygen, uh, we know that it's going to all burn up. Notice now that we have one carbon, four hydrogen, and two oxygen on one side, but only one carbon, two hydrogen, and three oxygen on the other side. Now, this is unbalanced. So we need to do something to balance the reaction. The first thing we need to do here after writing the reaction is balance the reaction. So let's start with hydrogen. And notice that we'll just put a 2 right there, right over here. And 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 4 hydrogens. or uh, And now we have 4 oxygens. Because that gives us 2 here. And then we notice we have 2 over here. But we only have 2 oxygen on the left side. So let's go ahead and multiply that by 2. And now we've got 1 carbon. 4 hydrogen on both sides, and 4 oxygen on both sides. Voila, it's balanced. So now we have a balanced equation. Let's go to the next step. And it says, if 100 grams of methane are reacted with unlimited amounts of oxygen, how much carbon dioxide in grams and how much water in grams should form? Now, because we have all the oxygen we want. Methane is the limiting reactant. And when the methane's gone, the reaction's going to be over. So keeping that in mind, let's go ahead and figure out how many moles of the limiting reactant we have. Again, let's put up our balanced equation. Remember that we have 100 grams CH4. And let's change the grams of methane to moles of methane. 100 grams CH4 times the um, moles per gram or grams per mole. And notice how we put it here. We've got it so that the grams of methane will cancel out with the grams of methane. And then remember to just plug and chug. And we have 6.23 moles of methane. Now, using the moles of methane, we will be able to go ahead and convert to moles of carbon dioxide and moles of water. Okay, moles of carbon dioxide, go ahead and let's put down the balanced equation again. Change moles of methane to moles of carbon dioxide. And we do that by taking moles of methane and multiplying it by the mole to mole ratio, which is really nice because one mole of methane equals one mole of carbon dioxide. So, if we have 6.23 moles of CH4, we will have 6.23 moles of carbon dioxide. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. And really, we don't have to plug and chug on that one. We should be able to do that in our heads. Let's go ahead and figure out the grams of carbon dioxide. Grams of carbon dioxide, again, start with the balanced equation. Change moles of carbon dioxide to grams of carbon dioxide. And we're going to do that by using the grams per mole of carbon dioxide. 6.23 moles of carbon dioxide multiplied by 44.01 grams of carbon dioxide. And plug and chug. And we have 274 grams. Now, if you're wondering how I got carbon dioxide's grams per mole, all you have to do is add up the individual weights of the atoms involved in carbon dioxide. There's one carbon and there are two oxygen. So 12.01 plus uh, 32, 16 times 2. 
and that will give us 44.01 grams per mole of carbon dioxide. Plug and chug that, and we have the 274 grams per carbon dioxide, or of carbon dioxide. All right. Now let's do the moles of water. Again, we start with a balanced equation, and we're going to take and use the methane, which is 6.23 moles, and determine how many moles of water we'll get. Now notice in this one, it's a 2 to 1 ratio. Uh, so it's going to involve a little bit more math, but still not too hard. So change moles of methane to moles of uh, water. We have 6.23 moles of methane times two moles of water for every mole of methane. And that comes right from these numbers right here. We don't write ones, but just like in algebra, it's still assumed. And that'll give us 12.5 moles of water. Let's convert that to grams, grams of water. Again, we start off with a balanced equation. And then with that balanced equation, we take and we put our moles of water up here. Change moles of water to grams of water. 12.50 moles of water times 18.01 grams of water per one mole of water equals plug and chug 225 or 225 grams. And that's using sig figs. Now, I don't know if your teacher is big into sig figs, but I'm kind of big into sig figs. I think you need to keep your data and your integrity together. And so if your answer comes out a little different, it might be because you didn't do sig figs. But go with whatever your teacher does. All right. Let's recap. We wrote an equation. We balanced the equation. We then determined the limiting reactant. Changed the grams to moles. Changed the moles to moles and then changed moles to grams. All right. If you have any questions, be sure to send an email to mrkazi at mrkazi.com. And if you have any questions that might make a good problem of the week, why don't you shoot that off to me, and I'll go through uh, the different problems and find another one uh, for later in the week to be the problem of the week. Check out www.mrkazi.com. Click on chemistry and check out PowerPoint videos and much, much more. Also, don't forget to go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get as many subscribers as I can and studies have shown that it increases your IQ. All right, I want to thank uh, Sh Shannon for sending this problem. It was a great problem. I enjoyed doing it and I hope it helps you, Shannon. Happy odds, everyone.